last remaining territory on the planet that could have such a designation is Antarctica. Antarctica's hidden secret is one of the most significant and shocking discoveries of the past century, and it has changed the way we think. An ice shelf as vast as California, floating majestically on top of the frigid waters, with hidden secrets waiting to be explored. Brave geologists embarked on an epic adventure and drilled deep into this frozen fortress. They explored the most remote, cold, and inhospitable places on the planet and discovered great mysteries preserved in time. What are these hidden mysteries? Join us as we uncover the most strange secrets of Antarctica that have left scientists in shock. Number 1. Brief History of the South Pole Long ago, nature might not have preserved Antarctica in ice, but it could have been a green and flourishing place. Some people think that intelligent people lived there a long time ago. They believe that the Earth's outer layer, like the skin of an orange, might have moved around shifting Antarctica from a warm place to a freezing one. However, only some people agree with this idea. Scientists think it's not likely because there's not enough proof. Even though many scientists don't believe it, some people keep searching for signs of this ancient civilization. They look at stories from around the world, hoping to find clues about the people who might have lived there. But before ice, there was the surging of the seas following the Great Flood and other disasters that shook the Earth. Number 2. The Tale of Great Floods and Disasters Long ago, when giants roamed the land and the world was a different place, there were stories of grand floods and earth-shaking disasters. These tales might not be mere stories, but secrets whispered by time. There was a time when the earth was locked in ice, and great sheets of frozen water covered the land. Some say that a mighty disaster, like a massive flood or a crashing heavenly body, swept away an ancient civilization, leaving only whispers in the wind. As the ice melted and the seas surged, swallowing lands whole, people scattered across the globe, carrying the knowledge of their lost society. They say that these ancient ones left their mark on the world, shaping the rise of civilizations we know today. Crafted by hands long gone, towering cities and mighty pyramids stand as silent witnesses to an era we barely understand. Each structure, from the mystic pyramids of Egypt to the circle of stones at Stonehenge, whispers secrets of a forgotten time. But it's not just about big stones and towering monuments. These ancient architects understood the stars, precisely mapping the heavens beyond our understanding. Their knowledge stretched across oceans and continents, uniting distant lands in a shared legacy. And it wasn't just about building big things. They knew how to organize cities, navigate the seas, and read the skies. Their wisdom was the seed from which our achievements grew, passed down through generations like a precious treasure. Who were these ancient geniuses? We're still trying to figure it out, but one thing's for sure, their legacy lives on in the wonders they left behind, inspiring us to unlock the mysteries of our past. But what if we told you that Antarctica moved from a different location to where it is presently today? Number 3. The Eocene Epoch and Antarctica Back then, Antarctica sat in the same spot it does today, but the weather was way warmer. It was so warm that lush green rainforests covered the land instead of icy deserts, the Earth's climate was completely different, like a whole new planet. During this time, the continents moved around like puzzle pieces. Antarctica slowly drifted to where it is now, while other continents moved away. This movement changed the ocean and weather patterns, making the world different. One big difference was that Antarctica didn't have those giant ice sheets it has today. Without all that ice, the Earth was even warmer. This warm weather greatly impacted everything around us shaping the world we know today. Antarctica became more isolated from other continents as time passed, and the ocean started circling like a significant cold barrier. This issue made Antarctica even more freezing, leading to the ice we see today. Fossils found in Antarctica tell us stories of forests covered with big trees and many plants. There were even beaches, and the sea levels were much higher, so different parts of the land were underwater, probably marking one of the earliest incidents of climate change on our planet. Number 4. The Dramatic Change of the Earth's Climate Millions of years ago, the world was like a giant stage. It was the age of mammals. This shocking era followed the exit of the dinosaurs, who were in the spotlight during the Cretaceous period. The Eocene period, hidden between the Paleocene and Oligocene epochs, was shocking. It wasn't just any old time. It was a time of significant changes in the Earth's climate, landscapes, and the creatures that called it home. 
Earth suddenly started getting hotter, like turning up the heat on a stove. That happened during the Paleocene-Eocene thermal maximum around 56 million years ago. Temperatures shot up fast, making life challenging for some creatures while others flourished and evolved quickly, especially mammals like us. During the Eocene, the air was thick with CO2, much more than what we're used to today. It was like living in a giant greenhouse. All this extra CO2 made things warmer, changing the weather and ocean currents. And it wasn't just the land changing, the seas were bustling with activity too. The warmer waters significantly affected where sea creatures lived and helped new ecosystems grow. The Eocene was a time of adventure and transformation, setting the stage for today's world. It's a reminder that our planet is constantly changing, just like a never-ending story. But there are even stranger things going on in the freezing expanse of Antarctica. Number 5. Antarctica's Unique Discoveries and Hidden Secrets At the South Pole, a lot of science is happening in Antarctica. Some people think it's just science, but others believe there's something strange going on. They say the U.S. government thinks there's some secret activity there, and they want to figure out what it is. One shocking idea is that rich people are trying to find ancient secrets under all that ice. They think there are incredible cities like Atlantis and Lemuria. And get this, Antarctica was even on maps hundreds of years ago before we officially found it. Some pictures from space show strange shapes that no one can explain. And did you know Germany went on expeditions there? Some folks think they weren't just exploring but setting up secret bases or meeting aliens. Operation High Jump was a daring and craziest mission led by Admiral Richard E. Byrd from 1946 to 1947. Brave sailors sailing through freezing waters to explore the mysterious lands of the South Pole. But why? Why journey to such a remote place where no one lives? Well, here's the scoop. Antarctica is like a treasure chest for scientists. It holds secrets that could change the world. But hold on tight because some folks think there's more to this story than just science. They believe there might be aliens or ancient civilizations hiding beneath the ice. Operation High Jump was about setting up an adventurous research base called Little America Forecast. But here's where things get shocking. Some people think there's a big secret behind all this exploration. They wonder if hidden alien bases or ancient ruins are waiting for discovery. Admiral Byrd and his crew zoom through the sky, encountering super-fast flying objects. These wild stories have sparked rumors of aliens and secret technologies hiding beneath the ice. Brave whistleblowers have come forward with jaw-dropping tales of underground cities and futuristic gadgets. They even talk about meeting aliens. Some think Antarctica could hide the Holy Grail or the Ark of the Covenant. Imagine stumbling upon ancient artifacts in the icy wilderness. Number 6. Rich Labs and Top Secret Experiments Imagine rich labs where scientists study stuff from space and ancient stuff all hidden away where nobody can spy on them. Why Antarctica? Because it's super far away and cold and has yet to be explored. Plus, there's a rule that says no fighting there, just science, which makes it perfect for secret experiments. Some people say Antarctica is hiding weird things like pyramids that look like ones from Egypt and maybe aliens built them. Or there are secret entrances to a whole world underneath our feet with aliens or super advanced animals living there. Sometimes, satellites see things like strange heat or weird energy that might be from alien gadgets. Some folks even think scientists going to Antarctica are more than just studying ice and penguins and checking out alien stuff. And guess what? Rich people might be involved in all this secret alien stuff too. Imagine a secret world where super rich folks aren't just watching from the sidelines but jumping into action, diving deep into the mystery of aliens. Whispers say aliens have moved away to icy lands where they sit down with creatures from other planets. What for? They talk about sharing super cool alien tech and planning how to run the world. Why do aliens pick billionaires for chit-chats? Some say these riches fund super sneaky missions to uncover alien gadgets hidden under the ice. And guess what? The prize isn't just knowing stuff, it's having the power to rule. Imagine having gadgets that make you the boss of everything. But having all that power could be scary. Only a few people would control it, changing the whole world order. Some even think these rich folks might become Earth's unofficial ambassadors to aliens, calling the shots on space. And here's the spookiest part. Some say Antarctica isn't just a chilly place. It's where the big shots plan to rule the world. Imagine a team-up of billionaires, fancy politicians, and big bankers, all cooking up schemes far away from regular folks. Right in the middle of one of these disasters was a super-intelligent civilization, not just some folks living off the land, but they got wiped out in the chaos. 
Interestingly, this mystery doesn't even end here. Some explorers have since made other stunning finds, most notably Graham Hancock. Number 7. Graham Hancock's Interpretation and Hypothesis In 1513, a skilled Ottoman explorer and mapmaker named Piri Race crafted a map that Graham Hancock used for his hypothesis that would spark wonder and curiosity for centuries to come. Discovered in a grand palace in Istanbul in 1929, this map holds only a fraction of its original glory, yet it unveils breathtaking glimpses of lands unknown. As the delicate lines etched by Piri Race traced, they uncover a curtain of history woven with threads of mystery. From the shores of Europe to the sands of North Africa and the lush coasts of Brazil, every stroke tells a tale of ancient wisdom. Hancock suggests that hidden within its folds lies a clue to a lost world, where Antarctica emerges from the icy depths in a form unseen for millennia. Yet, only some agree with Hancock's bold claims. Skeptics raise their voices, suggesting that these ancient cartographers were merely artists of the imagination, painting fantastical landscapes on their maps. However, Hancock's theory must be dismissed over time. As they scrutinized the map's intricate details, they were astonished by its precision. He believes these ancient mapmakers possessed knowledge far beyond their time, pointing to the map's uncanny accuracy and marking longitudes, a feat not achieved until centuries later. And what of the icy peaks of Antarctica, hidden beneath a veil of snow and mystery? Hancock dares to suggest that these mountains were known to ancient eyes long before modern explorers claimed them. Could a forgotten civilization once roam the frozen continent, leaving behind whispers of their existence in the lines of an ancient map? Number 8. Graham Hancock's Mapmakers Revealed In the 18th century, mapmakers created maps with incredible accuracy, showing where places were on the Earth. The revelation is shocking because it seems they knew things they shouldn't have known. Graham Hancock has some terrifying ideas about this. He thinks a super-intelligent ancient civilization knew much about the world long ago. But something terrible happened, like a big disaster, and they lost most of their knowledge. Maybe their civilization slowly disappeared or something big, like a natural disaster, wiped them out. This idea is like a puzzle piece that doesn't fit, making us rethink what we know about history. Hancock believes some of this ancient knowledge survived and influenced later mapmakers, like Perry Reese. Imagine sailors a long time ago telling stories about the places they visited. These stories might have ended up in the maps we have today. Hancock also connects ancient stories from different cultures with this lost knowledge. He thinks these stories might be true, not just fairy tales. He has an interesting theory about a big disaster around 10,600 BCE. Hancock says a heavenly body hit the Earth, causing huge problems like climate change. He looks at the ice from Greenland and Antarctica to support his idea. This ice shows that something significant happened back then. Hancock thinks this disaster changed everything, even causing some animals to disappear forever. He believes this disaster also made people forget what they knew, like hitting reset on a computer game. However, some people survived and passed on what they learned to others, which could have helped kickstart new civilizations. Operation High Jump is another shocking story. In the late 1940s, Admiral Richard E. Byrd led a big expedition to Antarctica. The U.S. government wanted to know what was happening there, especially during the Cold War. They thought something important might happen, so they sent Admiral Byrd with an extensive fleet of ships to check it out. What happened next was what no one expected. And have you ever heard of Little America V? Number 9. Building of the Little America V Once upon a freezing land far away, adventurers built a place called Little America V. This place wasn't just a shelter, but a super intriguing research station where scientists did shocking experiments. They had fancy labs and warm rooms to stay warm, all built to brave the super cold weather. This place was like a superhero headquarters where brave explorers studied weather, rocks, and ice. They flew in planes and drove unique cars to learn all about Antarctica. But the best part? Over 4,700 heroes trained hard to handle the icy challenges, showing that exploring isn't just about gadgets, it's about teamwork and bravery. Their gear was like magic armor, keeping them warm to explore without freezing. And guess what? They even flew helicopters and planes, breaking new ground and exploring Antarctica. They had big ships too, breaking through ice to reach new places and help scientists. But this adventure wasn't just about science, it was a bit like a spy movie. But when we look at the facts, we see a different story. Project High Jump was about exploring and learning, not finding hidden treasures. 
Sure, it's fun to imagine secret missions, but the real heroes discovered new things about our icy planet. And as for those wild stories about hidden bases or aliens, well, they're fun to think about. But the real magic lies in the discoveries made by these brave explorers, not in fairy tales. Like the many jaw-dropping discoveries made in Antarctica by the German expedition nearly a century ago. Number 10. German Antarctic Expedition and the Denisova Cave In the late 1930s, Germany set off on a big adventure to Antarctica. They called it the Third German Antarctic Expedition. Their goal? To boost their whaling skills and claim land for resources. They named the place they explored Neuschwabenland after a spot in Germany. But despite their big dreams, they didn't build a permanent base there. Now, onto the shocking part. Some people think the Germans secretly drilled into Antarctica. Why? Well, there are lots of ideas. Maybe they wanted rare minerals for their war machines. Or perhaps they were making a hidden base under the ice, like Bay 211 or New Berlin. Some even think they were hunting for ancient secrets or alien tech. It sounds like something out of a movie. Drilling deep into Antarctic ice is super tough even now. Back then, in the 1930s and 1940s, it's almost impossible. Sure, there are stories about Germans escaping to a secret base in Antarctica after World War II, but these are just stories. They make for good tales, but there's no solid proof. For a long time, people thought Neanderthals were dumb cavemen. It turns out that's not true. We even have a bit of their DNA in us today. Denisova Cave is in the rugged mountains where Russia, China, Mongolia, and Kazakhstan meet. It is a cave filled with secrets. This cave has been around for ages. In the 1970s, scientists started exploring it, looking for old stuff, but they didn't realize what they'd find. In 2008, they stumbled upon a tiny finger bone. This discovery sounds weird, but this bone belonged to a new group of ancient people, the Denisovans. Suddenly, everyone wanted to learn more about them. Denisova Cave is challenging to reach. It's tucked away in a tough spot, making it even more intriguing. Every trip there brings us closer to understanding our past. And guess what? The Denisovans weren't just chilling by themselves. They mixed with other ancient humans like Neanderthals and maybe even more groups we haven't discovered yet. We've also found some shocking stuff in the cave. Tools, needles made of bone, even jewelry. This revelation shows that the Denisovans were pretty clever. Their discovery has changed how we see human history. It's like assembling a giant puzzle, one bone and DNA strand at a time. So while there's still a lot we don't know about the Denisovans, each discovery brings us closer to unlocking their secrets. Who knows what we'll find next? Number 11. Serbia's Mysterious Yakutia Region This super cold place is called the Valley of Mystery in Siberia's Yakutia region. It's like a giant confusion waiting to be solved. Imagine a land where the weather goes from crazy hot to cold, and it's so remote that hardly anyone goes there. Scattered across the valley are strange metal structures that resemble something from a sci-fi movie. Some peep from the ground like buried treasures, while others stand tall like mysterious domes. But what are they? Are they ancient artifacts, leftovers from space rocks crashing down, or something else? Scientists are still scratching their heads, trying to figure it out. Local stories say this place is super unearthly. The Yak people who've lived there for ages tell tales that'll make your hair stand on end. They say these metal things have weird powers that can make people sick or even worse if they get too close. Terrifying, right? Despite all the mystery and danger, people can't resist the temptation to explore. Scientists, history buffs, and even brave tourists are attracted to the Valley of Mystery like magnets. They all want to uncover its secrets and learn about Siberia's ancient past. Exploring this place is tough. The crazy weather, the isolation, and the lack of roads make it a real challenge. So, for now, the Valley of Mystery remains one of Siberia's biggest confusions. But who knows? With better technology and more exploration, we can someday reveal the secrets. But more interestingly, the mysteries in Serbia are far from over. Number 12. The Tunguska Event in Serbia Let's uncover a mind-blowing mystery from Siberia, a land filled with secrets. Like nothing you've ever seen, a massive explosion flattened a forest the size of 250 football fields in 1908 near a river. It was mighty, even more potent than the most giant bomb ever made. Like a second sun, people saw a bright blue light in the sky, followed by booming sounds that shook the ground and shattered windows miles away. 
Fast forward to 1927 and a brave explorer named Leonid Kulik went to investigate. He thought he'd find a massive hole in the ground, but instead, he saw a forest flattened like someone had stepped on it. Scientists think it might have been a big rock from space that exploded before hitting the ground like a giant firework. But some folks have wilder ideas, like aliens or mini black holes. Crazy, right? The aftermath of this explosion wasn't just a mess of trees. It changed the environment, making trees grow faster and even messing with the weather across Europe and Asia. And guess what? Even today, people are still guessing what happened that day. It's like a real-life mystery story set in the snowy wilderness of Siberia. Number 13. Uncovering what lies beneath the ice. Underneath the vast ice lies a mysterious world waiting to unravel. Scientists are on a mission to explore where few have ventured before the hidden depths of the ocean floor. Locked away beneath Antarctic ice for centuries lies a desolate wasteland. But what secrets does it hold? Their quest is to uncover samples from the seabed, trapped for ages in this icy prison. What treasures lie buried beneath? After 20 grueling hours, they breach over half a mile of ice. It's tough going where the ice is thickest, barely the size of a tennis court explored so far. Lowering their equipment through a tiny hole in the ice, they encounter a massive rock blocking their way. With suspense mounting, they finally free their gear and reveal a breathtaking sight life flourishing in the most unlikely places. Tiny, tentacle-like creatures cling to the rock, resembling delicate mushrooms. Conversely, sponge-like organisms thrive alongside a thin layer of bacteria. It's a revelation. Life exists where no one thought possible. Experts are still trying to understand how creatures survive in such harsh conditions, far from sunlight. These filter feeders rely on microscopic plants and animals for sustenance, but their food source is limited to light. This discovery challenges everything we thought we knew about life under the ice. How do these creatures survive? It's a mystery waiting to be solved. And in a more shocking development, some experts undertaking a new research have discovered evidence linking Antarctica to the Mariana Trench. Number 14, the mystical Mariana Trench. Deep down in the ocean, where the water is as cold as ice and as dark as night, lies a mysterious place called the Mariana Trench, Imagine standing on the edge of an icy cliff, peering into the depths below. At first glance, it may seem empty, but it's a bustling world of strange creatures. Picture sea spiders scuttling about, sea stars twinkling like stars in the sky, and spiky sea urchins covering the ocean floor like a cozy carpet. Surprisingly, even though sunlight struggles to reach these depths, life still thrives here. How? Well, tiny plants and algae are soaking up every bit of light creating a buffet for more enormous creatures like fish, penguins, whales, and seals. But as you journey deeper, the light fades away, and so does life. Yet in the pitch-black depths of the Mariana Trench, where the water pressure could crush you like a soda can, there's a survivor, the Mariana Snailfish. These brave little fish somehow live in the harshest conditions imaginable, where few others dare to venture. Life down there isn't easy, though. Resources are scarce, and the ecosystem is small, so what on earth do these snailfish eat to survive? Number 15, the rare marine snow. Imagine a magical snowfall happening not in the sky, but underwater. Marine snow is like a feast for creatures living deep in the ocean. Here's how it works. When sea creatures die, they sink, becoming food for others on the sea floor. Along the way, they taste and crumble into tiny pieces. Eventually, these bits reach the ocean bed, becoming a yummy meal for creatures like snailfish even if they live thousands of feet below. But wait, some creatures like fish, urchins, and sea stars can move around to find their food. However, others like sponges are stuck in one place. They rely on marine snow to come to them. Scientists were puzzled when they discovered sponges thriving under the ice shelf where marine snow doesn't usually fall. How do they survive? Ocean ants can carry nutrients from far away, even up to 1,000 miles. It's like a nutrient highway under the ice feeding life in unexpected places. This discovery amazed scientists, showing that life can flourish even in the most challenging conditions. Who knows what other creatures might be hiding in the icy depths of the Weddell Sea, living in a world we thought couldn't support life. Is this the end of the mysterious discovery, or is there more? Number 16. The Underground Hidden Lakes It's incredible and shocking to know lakes hide under all that ice in Antarctica. Even though the continent is frozen on top, scientists have found some lakes below, 
They found the first ones back in 1970 using special radars. Around 400 of these lakes might be hiding under 3 kilometers of ice. Scientists think these lakes formed long ago when Antarctica split from a giant landmass called Gondwana Land. And guess what? Even though they're under all that ice, these lakes don't freeze because of how heavy the ice is on top. One of these lakes, Lake Vostok, is the biggest one they found. It's like a secret world under the ice, lying 3.5 kilometers below the surface. Imagine that. Some brave scientists drilled deep holes into the ice to get a water sample from Lake Vostok. And guess what they found? Even though it's been covered by ice for over 20 million years, the water was still cold, around minus 3 degrees Celsius. Then, in 2014, another shocking discovery happened at Lake Willens. Scientists found many tiny living things living nearly a kilometer under the ice. These little creatures have been down there for millions of years without seeing sunlight or fresh air, but they still flourish. They're like little superheroes, using methane and ammonium to grow and stay alive. Antarctica has many hidden and unknown things. Further exploration might reveal them. Number 17. The Deep Lake Deep Lake is a unique lake in East Antarctica. Its size astonished scientists because it's not an ordinary lake. 55 meters below sea level, this lake is super salty, even saltier than the ocean. That's why it doesn't freeze, even when it's cold outside. Living in Deep Lake is tough. It's not a friendly place for many creatures, and only a few tiny microbe species can survive there. It's like a little world, but not a warm place for animals. Sometimes, brave penguins swim there, but it's risky for them. The lake is much colder than the ocean, so they can quickly get in trouble. Antarctica's unknown mysteries are not exhaustible, as they keep coming. Number 18. Strange Animals of Antarctica Antarctica's very unusual weather makes it impossible for animals to survive. It's like a frozen dessert. But guess what? Even in this freezing land, there are some bizarre animals. Before, people believed nothing could live under the giant ice. But scientists have discovered some bizarre creatures that survived in this icy world. There are tiny organisms, tiny sea animals, giant squids, spiders as big as plates, gigantic worms with shiny gold hairs, and big-jawed beasts. Have you heard about the see-through fish? These fish are odd. They have big eyes. You can see inside their bodies because their skin is see-through. These fish have unique stuff in them to stay alive in freezing water, and they don't have the same things in their blood that make our blood red. What are your thoughts on this shocking discovery stumbled upon by scientists in Antarctica? Let us know your opinions in the comment below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.